Alone on the Kingdom of Dragons, Bloom fights for survival, but thanks to a small dragon named Buddy, the fairy manages to quieten her anger. Finding her calm, she then regains her self-confidence. A transmission signal from the space pod. It looks as if something is trying to communicate. I don't believe it! This is a transmission from the Omega Dimension. Can anybody hear me? I found her! I found her! Tecna's alive! That's her voice! Guys, wake up! Tecna is alive! Sh she's alive? She's transmitting. I can't believe it. She's trying to get in touch with us, guys. The space sensor just received her signal, and oh, she knew we'd never stop searching for her. Now, if I don't lose the signal, I should be able to figure out where she's transmitting from. No. You lost her? Phew, I got it just in time. She's transmitting from Omega's inner quadrant. Oh, Tecna's not dead, and now we know exactly where she's located. Somehow she's been able to survive alone in that frozen, forgotten place. Well then, what are we waiting for? Let's load up the ship and go rescue Tecna. She'll be happy to see you again. I'll give the Winx a call to let them know. It's just too bad that Bloom can't go. She's still training on Pyros. I bet you the girls are going to be tickled pink to hear about Tecna. Tell them to start packing, Brandon. We leave at sunup. Uh, hello? Tecna is alive! I love to stay awake at night, because that's when the most interesting discoveries are made. Come in. I hope you have a good reason for waking us up, Valtor. I have an excellent reason. Tecna somehow managed to send a message to Red Fountain from the Omega Dimension. What? That's impossible! I wouldn't worry, ladies. Their chances of actually rescuing her are next to none. Nobody ever gets out of the Omega Dimension. Just like nobody ever gets off the island of Pyros. What does Pyros have to do with anything? Hmm. Bloom's gone there to strengthen her powers. The Island of Dragons is a dangerous place. Something terrible could happen to her there. In other words, you want us to go check it out and make sure that it does, is that right? <laughs> wow. 
Why aren't you coming with us? Coda Torta specifically asked Riven and me to stay at Red Fountain. Yeah, the whole school's on high alert because of Valtor. If too many of us go on the mission, Red Fountain could be vulnerable. So Riven and I are going to stay on active duty just in case the school is attacked. We're ready, Stella. Just waiting for you. I'm coming. Let's get a move on. Bye, Stella. See you. Hurry, you guys. We can't wait to see Tecna again. The girls are just about to leave. Well, thank you for keeping me posted, Griselda. You know, even though the dangers are great, I don't feel it's right to try to stop them. I know. It's their destiny to go and save their friend. And I believe they will succeed. <laughs> oh no! I can do it. I know I can. And I'm gonna do it without magic. Come on, Bloom! Show them who you are! This isn't gonna be easy, huh, Brandon? Uh, excuse me, I said it's gonna be a tough mission, right, Brandon? Sorry, my head was elsewhere. I was thinking about Sky. How he wanted to apologize to Bloom for what had happened on Miracleon. But by the time we got back, she'd already left for Pyros. He hates himself for hurting her. Even though he wasn't himself when it happened because of that, that spell that he was under. I'm sure that everything will go right back to normal as soon as Bloom gets back from her training on Pyros. Well, I sure hope so. Hey, Captain! How long till we get to the Omega Dimension? We're just about there, Stella. How you doing, Timmy? I'm okay, because now I have hope. This island is getting more and more unbearable. I've already overcome so many obstacles. How many more are there going to be? I'm tired. An earthquake? Well, at least they don't lack for variety here. I can't hold on! I saved you just in time, girl. Drink up. You'll feel better. Thank you. My name is Maya, and I live here, where few creatures dare to venture. Uh, my name is Bloom, and I come from Magics. Why are you here, Bloom? <sighs> I'm trying to get stronger. That's why I came to Pyros. The headmistress from my school thought that I could learn from the dragons, but so far all I've been doing is fighting to survive. I don't know how to do this. 
If you want to get stronger, you must open your heart and your mind. Hmm. Valtor is the reason I need to get stronger. He steals magic from all the realms. His designs are evil, and I need to find a way to stop him before it's too late. Now you know all about me. Your motives are very noble. Since the realm I come from no longer exists, there's no way for me to get my enchantix powers. And yet I do need to gain strength and courage. You already are strong and brave, and your magic is very powerful. Your anger is great, but so is your positive energy. I can help you if you want. You know, I could really use some help right now. You must learn to focus on your inner self. You already have everything you need. <laughs> hmm. We've arrived. I do not like this place. Come on, let's try to find Techna as quickly as possible. Here you go. Here's the mobile receiver, Timmy. Hey, thanks, Helia. This thing should be able to tell us exactly where Techna is, unless, well... Don't you worry, Timmy. Everything will turn out just fine. You'll see. Not bad. You managed to control all of your energy and focus it on a single point. I didn't think I'd be able to. You're getting in touch with your inner self. That's why your powers are becoming so much stronger. That was a difficult test and you passed it beautifully. That's it. I found it. There's the signal. It's identical to the one I received at Red Fountain, so it's got to be coming from Tecna. Are you sure, Timmy? I uploaded the original, and the locator just found it again. Let's head due north, Brandon. It's freezing here. Ooh. Pretty inhospitable, if you ask me. I bet you they agree. Huh? I guess that's what you get if you're a prisoner in the Omega Dimension, locked away in a block of ice for eternity. I got it! I can feel it! Techna's nearby! All right, I found it! Well, this is the transmitter that Techna used, but where is she? We are now moving to a higher level of training, which means that should you fail, you're not likely to survive. Are you ready for the challenge, Bloom? Ready! Now, Bloom, behind you! Very well done. Your skills have improved so much in such a short time. Your magic is more focused and you're able to control your fear. Your powers have reached a whole new level of sophistication, Bloom. Am I that much better? Oh, you may not feel it, but I can see it. You're almost ready to go back to magics, my dear. Oh, magics. I can't wait to see my friends again. I miss them so much. 
I really want to go home, but I know I still have so much more to learn here. This place is like a maze. Finding Tecna here is going to be much harder than I thought. Well, in the meantime, it looks like somebody has found us. <gasps> they put the transmitter here as a trap. Who are you? What are you doing in the Omega Dimension? <gasps> you look a little too cute to be here. <laughs> We're trying to find our friend, the girl who had this transmitter. Tell us what you did with her. Easy, Timmy. These guys look like serious trouble. Huh? Hey, calm down there, buddy. Why can't we all be friends? Time to take these guys down. Let's just lighten your load a little. Twilight is the perfect time for you to experience life's most magic moments. <laughs> this vial contains the magical essence of Pyros itself. The magical essence of Pyros? Yes, every magical place has a unique kind of essence, and not just every place, Bloom, but every magical being, too. And that includes you. You see, Bloom, just like Pyros, you are defined by the particular blend of magic which lies deep at your core. Now, what you must do is allow your own essence and that of Pyros to come together and work as one. I need to merge my essence with that of Pyros? How do I do that? I can only help and guide you. It's up to you to become one with the power of the island. Hmm. We've been flying for over an hour now. Are you sure Bloom's here? We'll find her soon. Huh? Darcy, what's wrong? Bloom's close by. Are you ready, Bloom? I am. Hmm. Good, Bloom. You now carry within you the magic of the Dragons of Pyros. What is going on here? Bloom! Huh? Oh, what's that? Hmm? Sorry, no tourists allowed on Pyros. Ah! <gasps> 
Guess you don't have much of a green thumb, I see. Behind you, Bloom. gotten a lot tougher. The tougher she thinks she is, the more fun we'll have destroying her. Hmm. Uh, uh, you're not going to destroy anybody. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Oh, before we finish you off, Valtor sends his regards. Valtor. And Valtor will not win. I got my Enchantix powers! Mm-hmm. <sighs> All the energy you possess was totally focused for one perfect moment, and that's what set your Enchantix free. It could only happen to someone who has the dragon fire within. When you first arrived here, you were looking for answers, trying to find strength. You've come a long way since. You've found yourself, Bloom. Nothing will ever be the same. And now I feel ready to return to Althea and see my friends again. Bloom has found the power of Enchantix, and now she's ready to go back to Althea. But she won't find her friends awaiting, as the Winx are prisoner in the icy depths of the Omega Dimension. If you're a Winx, there's a place for you. Meet a thousand friends to share your dreams and faith. If you're a Winx, you can never lose. If you trust your heart, you will never Come true, come true. Secret was to discover.